All right, so I wanted to do a short little tutorial on um, getting rid of uh, limbs, fingers. You can do this for anything on your MetaHuman. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this right leg. Um, and I'm going to, you know, say like he's an amputee. This is, they, we usually amputate below the knee um, so that the prosthetics work. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I want to do it in Maya. I want to do it in Maya for a couple of reasons. But um, the main reason is that I can have a, I can fix my UVs and have my UVs working pretty much immediately. Um, and then if I send it over to ZBrush, I won't have to re-edit those UVs. So I just like doing it in Maya right off the bat. I'm, I'm going to post a link to my um, sending a character to ZBrush uh, tutorial. That's going to be above. And um, that'll show you how to get your MetaHuman into Maya and then send it over to ZBrush too, which I assume you, you know how to do that, right? Um, but uh, so I would, I, I'm not going to take it into ZBrush and sculpt on it, but I would, of course, if I were you. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to create the nub and then reattach the body to the MetaHuman skeleton, okay? So we're going to, this is our, our default MetaHuman. It's been sent from Bridge to Maya, and it's two parts. It's our head and our body. And I want our body, but I want to duplicate it because I want to keep this original body and copy the skin weights because this is all rigged and weighted right now, right? If I, and I'm going to go to my root driver. Let's just go ahead and say shading, x-ray joints. Say show, and I'll show my joints, and I'm going to hide my DHI head. I'm going to hide my head spine. That's the head rig. And now all I've got is my driver. So the driver skeleton is what drives the skeleton, and the root skeleton is what the skin is bound to. So you always want to bind new stuff to this DHI body root, and your uh, root driver is just the driver skeleton. It's not the it's not the bound skeleton. So I'm just going to have my driver selected to just make sure my rig's working, and it is. All right, so you animate your driver to move your root skeleton, okay? So everything's working fine. Now, I, I, I want the all of the skinning information. I want to copy it one-to-one -one from this, so I have to do much less work on my character, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and hide my driver for now. I can do that just by selecting it and hitting H, or I can go into my show and make sure I'm not showing joints. Either way. So I'm going to duplicate this body because I want to keep the original. So I'm going to hit Control D, and then I'll hit Alt H. So that's going to hide all. Now you can you notice a change in the display. That's just because I hid the lights too. So that's fine. Um, the, the lights come with the MetaHuman when you send it from Bridge too. So uh, now I'm going to just delete the geometry below the leg, below the knee. I'll go to face. And I'll grab here. Then I'll just shift double click to get that edge ring. Shift double click to get that edge ring. And about that far below the knee is good with me. So I'll delete it. And I'm just going to go into my wireframe, my shaded mode and not my textured mode. Um, and I want to close this hole. So I don't want to bridge it right away. So I'm going to grab that edge loop and just extrude. And push it in. I'm going to hit G to repeat last. It's just going to allow me to extrude again. Something like that. And then I will also, I'm going to bevel this edge. Just so it gives me more to sculpt on. That's fine. And now I can start bridging across. So let's just go from edge to edge, try and find kind of a midpoint. Now I can I can actually find really close to the midpoint. I can double click that edge loop. And then I'll just look on the outside. Sorry. That's, a little disorienting. I look on the outside side of my leg, and I'm thinking that's going to be that. Okay, so those are the two kind of center lines. So 
I'll grab here and there and bridge. So I can bridge up here and I'm just in my poly modeling menu. Or I can grab the edge and I can go up into edit mesh and bridge there as well. Now once I've done that, I can select my edges and just hit G and it'll repeat last. So I'll just go down the, the line. And I could also just end this in a star at the center. That's not the worst thing that I could do. You know, I could just keep extruding and then merge to a single vert in the center. If you're pressed for time, that's not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, but I'm gonna do it the I'm gonna do it the quadded way. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine faces. So I just need to bridge one more. And now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So these are even. So I can start cutting edge loops across and this will all fit perfectly. So I'm just going to go to my uh, insert edge loop. Sorry, my multi-cut tool. And I can hold control with my multi-cut to give myself a cut. And I only want three cuts, actually, because that last one is going to end in a quad you see this is actually a quad so i'll go back to my edge loops grab this guy and i can seal it and it's just going to finish in a quad and then oh we do have a mismatch here let's see if we have a mismatch down here too we don't down here Oh, I must have miscount. Oh, no, no, I did miscount. Sorry. I did not correctly bridge this. There we go. So we've got, we've got three to two and three to two. Perfect. So let's just grab this guy. We can just grab the center line and just bevel. And it's just going to turn it into two edges. And now we've got three to three. So we'll grab those and bridge across. I'm just, if you see it happen fast, I'm just hitting G to repeat last in Maya. All right, so everything is sealed off. It's nice and quadded. I can go ahead and um, I can go into my sculpting tools and I can smooth it here in Maya. So if I click any of these brushes, can hold the B key and then left drag to reduce my radius or drag right to increase. And then while I've got the brush active, if I just hold shift, it'll just switch to smooth. So I can in Maya smooth out those, those just make it look a little more organic. So I don't even have to go into ZBrush and I could actually sculpt this out. But of course I want to do the scar tissue and make it look, make it look right. So I would definitely send this over to ZBrush, but that's a, you know, that's a start. So if I open up my brush settings, I can change my strength from 15 to like one. And then I can pop my brush size up and kind of start getting a little more natural, the stump, and then just smooth it down. All right, that's going to be good for me for now. Um, I don't like these hard edges, and, and that's just to do with their new. So if I go into mesh display, I can just say soften edge. It's going to just soften all my normals, which you, you know, with a character, unless you've got some um, inorganic pieces on it, it should all be softened on your normals. All right. So we've got our nub uh, and um, I'm going to go ahead and if I hit control shift H, I'm going to show last hidden, which is everything. And you can see I've got my leg. I'm, I'm going to hide my character. Um, that's got the, the, the full metahuman, but I'm going to show everything else. So we see we still have our, our caller connection that hasn't been altered. Um, and we want to keep all of our UVs except for these new ones. We just want to, we just want to create some new UVs right where that area was bridged. All right. So we're going to go to UV, UV editor. 
and I can see this is going to be all of my new UV information. So I can right click and just go face and drag over all of that information. And I think this face row, let me just, I'm going to double click on this face row just to make sure. Go back into my UV editor. Okay. Um, where is that? Okay, yeah, so this face row is still a part of the leg, so I want to keep that there. All right, so it's, I was correct in assuming that it was just all these faces. So I'm in face mode. Again, I can just right click and go face, select all these faces. So it's going to grab all of those new faces, and then I can hold shift and right click. And I can say <laughs> mapping. So this is going to be my, my UV mapping. I'm just going to say planar from Y, which is my up and down coordinates. So that's going to map. Let's go back in object mode. So that's going to create a new UV shell. I'm just going to go, once I've got, so I, I hit right click and then I went to UV shell. It just allows me to, and I want to make sure in this process, I don't move anything. These all have all of my metahuman textures, everything's perfect. Definitely don't want to move anything. Now this leg was cut, otherwise it would be this long, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna click this shell, right, hold shift and right click and go to unfold, and then just unfold that so the UVs are nice. Now I'll scale it down, and I can pack it into where that uh, this was right here. That's fine. Now, the um, texel density is going to be way different because that should actually be about the size of my edges. All right. Um, but I can bump it up a little. I can also um, just move it down here in between the foot. This is a blank spot, and I'd kind of prefer to do that just in case any, you know, we don't want to alter this metahuman texture map. If we were you know, obviously going to have to paint over this skin to fix it. Um, and we can do that in substance, but if we have it down here, maybe we want to use this texture map on another fully, you know, metahuman that has the full leg. Well, now we're not editing any of that what, where it would be the metahuman's um, texture map. So this is a spot that does not have textures in it. Oh, actually, you know, it would. It would have the other foot because we deleted the foot too. So the other foot would be right there. Now nah, that's fine. I'm going to leave it there. All right, so we have a UV'd um, character now that has a amputated leg. So what we want to do next is we want to delete our history. And I want to make sure I just delete by type history, not all by type. So only the character selected and just delete by type history. All right. And the name, I can name the mesh something different if I'd like. This is just a duplicate of my medium human body LOD zero. So it's up to you. You can name this with some custom name. Now what I want to do is I want to bind it to a skeletal, uh, a skeleton. And the skeleton I want to bind it to is this root. I don't want to bind it to the driver. I want to bind it to the root skeleton. So I'm going to click that and hit H. It's going to show it. Now I'll click my root joint. And then I'll shift click my, my new body, my edited body, and I'm going to go into my rigging menu right here. And I'll say skin, and I'll just open up my bind skin options just to make sure everything is how I want it. I'm just going to use the default settings, which is going to be a classic linear skinning method, um, closest distance, and then max influence is five. So I'll apply and close. So now I have a default skin binding. And I can show my last hidden, Control shift h and that's not going to work. So now I need to go into my rig, and my body group, and geometry is going to be where my body LOD 0 is. And you can see that we've got our LOD mesh 0. There's the flip-flops. Here's combined. This, this also comes with, uh, this is a combined mesh that comes with every uh, metahuman. So if you need a combined mesh, you can use that one too. That's a great base mesh for a sculpture. Um, but here's my body mesh LED zero. So I'll show that. 
So now I've bound my new meshes skin, right? So I want to copy my weights from my body LOD mesh zero, my original. I want to copy my weights so I don't have to repaint all these weights because these weights are great and they're painted in such a way that these influence joints have a very specific influence. So there's trying to recreate that and spend extra hours, there's no point. So we're going to copy these. So with the original MetaHuman mesh selected first, I'll then select my, my duplicate mesh that I edited. And then I will go into skin and I'm going to open up my options. And closest point on surface is perfect. And I could also do UV space and that's going to be a pretty much a one-to-one -one except for that cap. So if this doesn't, um, if this copy skin weights doesn't look exact, I will use the UV space. But for now, right now, we're going to say closest point on surface and uh, I'm going to say apply. All right, so now let's move the rig and see, of course, we want to move our driver rig. So I'll show that and let's grab it. Let's hide our original mesh. Uh, so just, okay. Let's move our leg. That's gonna. Great, that looks awesome. All right, so we have a fully rigged, uh, customized MetaHuman, and we're ready to go. Okay, so you would just grab this, grab our skeletal mesh, and you can export this skeletal mesh and import it into your Unreal scene. And um, then you can just edit your blueprint and replace the body with this body and everything will work fine. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck out there.